Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today, our good friends over at Skyloom, they make Luminar Neo, my favorite app. They just announced their big fall sale, which includes noiseless AI. That's right, AI-based noise reduction. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about their big fall sale. And I'm gonna make some predictions about what's coming because part of their big fall sale, they've announced more extensions that are coming for Luminar Neo. They just didn't tell us which ones. I'm gonna make some predictions totally just off the cuff. This is where my head is. I have no idea if it's true. We're gonna to get to that. So before we get started, I have one small favor to ask, which is if you do purchase this upgrade or take advantage of anything in this offer, that you use my link down below. No extra cost to you at all, but they do pay me a referral commission that helps support me. And you know, I'm here every week, sometimes every day, making videos about Luminar Neo, talking about this stuff and helping us all improve our photo editing. So it's a free way to support me. And in fact, you can try my coupon code, which is Jim Nix Neo. You might save some money, I don't know. Sometimes on special offers they work, sometimes they don't. But regardless, if you use my link, it's a free way to support me. And I thank you very much, uh, it means a lot. So thank you for that. So let's get into it. What did they announce today? The 2022 extension pack. This is the early bird pre-order deal. But this is not, hey, it's coming in six months. This is, hey, it's coming in two weeks, my friends. Noiseless AI. Now, you may know HDR Merge is already out. That was the first extension. I've got a great video about it there. You know, great, um, that sounds like a shameless plug. I've got a video that covers it in detail there. You can check that out. But Noiseless AI, that's the new stuff. And it is AI-based noise reduction, as the name implies. Um, to be clear, this is not necessarily an official screenshot. These are graphics that they provided us. I will tell you, I had a one-on-one -on -one call with the product manager and saw the product, and they used it on some demo files, and they showed it to me, and I thought, this looks really good but I also sent them some of my own files and they used my files to demo it to me and I thought, this looks really good. So, FYI, I've seen it in action, but I don't know if what I saw is the final version. Well, I'm sure it isn't because it's not released yet, but also I don't know if things are gonna change. So I can't share any screenshots and all that sort of stuff, but I have seen it, it is real, it's really tangible, and it's gonna be out in two weeks, my friends, two weeks. So. AI-based noise reduction, it's gonna be super amazing. But the other cool thing, I, I, I honestly can't believe this, because keep in mind, these people are in, in Kyiv, in Ukraine. They're at war with Russia. So, I mean, they're dealing with things that you and I can't really even fathom having to deal with. And yet, they've had so many updates to Luminar Neo. They just bang out these updates. It's insane, it's impressive, it's inspiring. And honestly, I'm just amazed. So. I'm super grateful that they are doing okay, and I'm incredibly uh, happy um, that they're able to continue to update this product because I love it. So, HDR Merge is the first extension, Noiseless AI is the second extension, and you can see there's more coming. So, what this is all about, Noiseless AI and a big fall update. So, Luminar Neo, you've heard me say this before, it's a platform. I talked about extensions in previous videos when they first started talking about Luminar Neo coming out, way back months ago and they talked about hey we're going to be able to extend functionality so they're you know they're taking advantage of this extensions capability to add these pro level tools they're giving us more capabilities more versatility and they're catering to specific needs in this case noise reduction ai based which is going to be amazing because you already know the ai tools in luminar neo are fantastic they're announcing today that six extensions are coming in 2022 before the end of the year so that's noiseless ai plus five more they haven't told us what the other five are i got some guesses completely off the cuff guesses jim just using some common sense and some thinking and that sort of thing to be clear they've told me nothing we'll cover that in a minute more extensions they also announced are coming in 2023 so i mean we're just going to be banging out updates to this product we the skylum team are going to be banging out updates to this product we're going to get some really cool stuff whatever it is but noise reduction is the next one hdr merge was the first one i'm excited it is noiseless ai is being delivered on august 30th so they're announcing it today it's coming out in two weeks so this is not hey, something's coming and you gotta wait a few months. This is coming and it's gonna be out really soon. Next extensions, uh, the next ones are gonna be revealed, as it says here, in September and October, and then delivered by the end of the year in November and December. So I'm excited about that. 
I suspect you're excited about it. Again, the link down below, uh, super supportive to me, which I greatly appreciate if you use that. Um, the early bird campaign is going between now and the 30th, which is release date for Noiseless AI. They're also, you know, they've had a, a subscription plan for a while. You can either buy a perpetual license or you can buy a subscription license. They now have a pro subscription plan they're announcing, which basically means you know, for the a subscription price, you get all existing and future extensions, major updates during the subscription period, things like that. But everything is still available for one time purchase. Now, this is an eye chart and you feel free to just pause the video here. I've listed in each of these four sections, the four different types of kind of options for purchasing, depending on what kind of customer you are. Um, and then in yellow, I've kind of boiled it down to the basics for you, right? So upper left is, if you're a new customer, this is basically your a la carte menu. Hey, I wanna buy it outright, or I wanna subscribe, and I wanna buy the extensions pack. The extensions pack would be $199. Upper right corner, if you're already a Luminar Neo customer, you can convert your license to a subscription license, save money, get HDR Merge, also save money on the extensions pack. In the bottom left corner, if you're already a Luminar Neo customer and you already have HDR Merge, you can save money on the first year subscription if you convert your license, and you can save a lot of money on this extensions pack, which is six extensions, Noiseless AI plus five more, which I'm gonna make some guesses about in a minute. And then the bottom right corner, if you own some of their previous products but not Luminar Neo, you've got options. You can save money on the first year subscription as well as save money on the extensions pack. So. In summary, announced today, more extensions are coming, six more this year, plus new extensions in 2023. Of the six that are coming in 2022, the first one is Noiseless AI and five more. So by the end of the year, if you buy everything, you'll have Luminar Neo with HDR Merge, with Noiseless AI, plus five more extensions. This product and this platform really is becoming so incredibly capable. I love it, I'm excited, and I wanna make some predictions because I just think about this stuff a lot. Maybe you can tell because I'm a little excited here. Plus I'm making videos every week about it. I just love the product. It's a lot of fun and it lets me do so much with my photos and I just enjoy it. So my predictions, um, I'm hoping that we'll get a focus stack capability at some point. I have no idea. To be clear, these are my predictions. I've spoken to no one at the Skyloom team about this, right? This is me off the cup making predictions. This is not based on anything they've told me in the past or anything like that. So I'm completely guessing. In other words, don't go to Skyloom and say, hey, Jim said you're coming out with this. I'm not saying anything. I'm totally guessing. So don't hold me to this. Don't hold them to it. You get it. Anyway, focus stacking, I think that'd be pretty cool. Panoramas, I think that would be pretty cool. You know what else would be pretty cool? I was thinking about this. I was like, what else can they be doing? But then when I saw the name of this noiseless product, noiseless, I was like, you know what they used to have? They used to have the creative kit. This was when they were Mac fun. And this was six different apps. You can see them all here that did different things. And one of those was called noiseless. It was noise reduction and it was great. And I used it and I, I loved it. I started thinking, I was like, well, that's the same name. So they've taken, I don't know what they've done to be honest, but they've taken that idea, probably not that code, but they've rebuilt it or built it from the ground up, whatever it is. But bottom line, they took the idea of noise reduction and they said, we're gonna make it AI, right? Well, what are other ideas have they had in the past? Well, if you look here, focus, that was focus effects like tilt shift and things like that. Blur, those kind of things, super creative apps, super amount of fun. I wonder, could that be an extension? They had Snap Heal. I use Snap Heal all the time. It was so good. It allowed you to remove things, clone and stamp and all that. Hey, we don't have clone and stamp in Luminar Neo. I wonder, are we gonna get it via like a Snap Heal AI kind of thing? Because they have some really good technology and these products are kind of old, but hey, if they rebuild them, make them AI based and do a lot of things like that, I can see how they could come up with more extensions fairly quickly. Tonality was fantastic for converting to monochrome. It had a lot of filters that were specific to monochromes. What if they do something with that? Intensify was kind of like, it gave you a way to really create an, an intense kind of really dramatic image with just a couple of sliders. Maybe they do something like that. To be clear, these are all complete guesses. I have no idea if any of this is gonna happen. 
It's just my guess. It's my prediction. But I think those are all in the realm of possibility at some point in the future. But I have no idea if it's true. I mostly wanted to tell you about Noiseless AI and the big full sale on this mega pack of extensions that you're going to have in your hands at the end of the year, right? You're going to have Noiseless AI in two weeks. You're going to have the other five extensions by the end of the year. It's an amazing deal, I think. The link is down below if you choose to use mine. I appreciate that very much. And you know I'm going to be back here as soon as I have more information and share that with you. Sorry that I can't demo the product yet. But that's coming soon, my friends. As soon as I can, believe me, I'll be sharing videos about it. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. To be clear, I don't have all the answers, but I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them for you. I appreciate the support. Thanks for your viewership. You guys have a great day. I'll see you soon. Go be creative. And until then, my friends, adios.